In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Uh, today's story, my friend, uh, it's a, a funny story, but to, to, to think and to know that how the new sh generation and the young kids are thinking, they know better than others and than the uh, older and also in the meantime don't underestimate them they are very good smart and uh, I will tell you this story to know how much they are smart are they uh, we were one day in the uh, in the monastery and uh, of St. Anthony and after we ended the Holy uh, Friday Great Friday uh, afternoon it was 6 uh, or so and there were some families are visiting the monastery at that time I went to them and I sat with them after we finished our prayers and uh, I met their kids and the kids were only six uh, between six and eight years old and they were very all of them were very smart and I asked them simply uh, uh, actually I found myself as innocent you know I, I just ask them uh, do you know what we celebrate today they looked to each other and said oh Abuna what are you saying of course today is Good Friday I said that's great you are a very smart boy so just tell me what celebration in, in Good Friday they said in that day Jesus Christ saved Adam and uh, Eve and he brought them from uh, hell to paradise I said you are great you you know a lot so uh, do you know where is how it was like uh, that they said by crucifixion Jesus Christ went to the cross for the sake of uh, Adam and Eve I said that's good uh, so do you know where is the crucifixion was they said yes of course it was in Jerusalem I said what part in Jerusalem uh, they said Golgotha I said wow you know a lot so do you know what does it mean Golgotha they said Golgotha means uh, a skull I said great so I made it difficult I said so you know uh, what, what Golgotha means uh, if it is means skull why we, we we are saying that do you know why we called it Golgotha they said one of them was he, he was very funny and said to me you know father it's uh, there is two schools the first school saying that uh, they called it Golgotha because the skull of uh, Adam was under the cross and you can see that in the icons in the church when you enter the church you will find the cross and underneath of the cross there is a skull and the blood of our Lord Jesus comes dropping to the skull and uh, this is a symbol of uh, that God Lord Jesus Christ saved Adam and this is the skull of Adam oh what about the second school I said then I, uh, the, 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 uh, the boy said, uh, say, uh, the other school saying that the sheep of the hill of uh, which of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, crucified on uh, took the shape of skull. I found them very smart. They understand everything. They know everything. So I actually I didn't, uh, I didn't ask them any more questions. They said to me, so you don't have any more questions? I said, no, you are very smart and you, you, you don't need to be asked. But we'll ask you a question. Uh, today is the salvation of Adam, right? I said, yes. They said, but uh, you know, it's uh, uh, why you are, we are suffering all the day fasting we were hungry 
We didn't eat, uh, eat anything. We were just singing a long, long hymns. Why that? Let uh, Adam uh, celebrate, not ours. I said, because we were in Adam's. They said, what do you mean, Abuna? I said, because you, the, the cells which in you, your blood comes from your father's blood and your father from grandfather, 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 it will come to Adam. So the blood in our cells uh, or the cells in our blood from Adam and it will remain up to the whole people till the end of the world. So when Jesus Christ saved, he saved everybody in the world, not Adam only. So one of the boys said, Father, you're wrong. I said, why? He said, because I don't have any blood from my dad. I have only blood from my mom. My mom uh, gave birth, not my dad. So I said to him, yeah, but still your dad uh, playing a very big role in the, in the subject. He said, no, I don't have any blood from my dad. So they were still kids and, uh, you know, I can't lie and I have, give, I have to give them uh, information and convince them in the meantime. So I said to them, but you know, you're... You're, you have a blood from your dad also because in the marriage when your dad and mom sat together the Holy Spirit came and united them into one and uh, uh, what they uh, God do always just take the blood from your mom or your dad and mix it with the blood on your, uh, um, uh, of your mom mix it into her womb and uh, create a new baby which is yours so you are a creation by God uh, but in the meantime from your dad and from your mom so he asked his dad and said is God took from your blood and put into uh, my mom's blood and mix it together to, in her womb his father said yes of course so by this way I gave them uh, a way to understand uh, uh, the, the, the relationship between a man and a woman but in a very simple way don't underestimate uh, the understanding of a kid you have to give them right information and also understand the salvation and everything uh, I mean the doctrine of the church and the theology of the church and give it to them as easy as much as you can I'm sure this story it might not fit into your life if you have no babies or so uh, or still young but it can help also in the service if you are a servant of God or, or serving kids, uh, kids or uh, young uh, uh, children, you have to understand how to deal with them and uh, I hope this story would help you. God bless you all.